Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this egg incubator. It is an automatic egg turner and humidity. This does hold up to 120 eggs with the two tiers. So this one right here is offered in three different sizes. You can do a one tier, a two tier, and a three tier. But this one right here is a two tier which holds about 120 eggs. That is between chicken, ducks, and quails. You also have geese on there. So you could pretty much incubate anything, but they do have an automatic setting for the chickens, ducks, geese, quails, and pigeons. So inside this box, you do have the rollers. So this is the two tiers. So you have to build the topper tier. Unfortunately, it does require screws that does not come with it. And I'm not sure what size. I just had a few here around the house. So these are the rollers. These rollers right here will roll the eggs. It does it really slowly. So that is the automatic egg turning. And it turns about every 90 minutes, making sure that the eggs don't stay in one spot. So you do have enough rollers for the top tier and the bottom tier so like I said before it has four automatic incubation modes it's got chicken duck geese and pigeons so it has daylight it has rain you can automatically do the egg turning and it also has constant temperature so right here is the side. These ones here needed to be built together to build the top. So they do have the little wires right here that do connect to the top of the incubator. So this uh, foam right here, it wants you to keep the foam. So if the temperature reaches below 59 degrees, it wants you to put the top and the bottom foam just to make sure that the heat stays in. So you do have these little grates at the bottom. So three days before hatching, it recommends that you take the rollers out and put these little mesh grates here on the bottom. So here's the screws that I was telling you, it is not included, so you'll have to find some screws. I'm not sure what size they are, I just had some laying around. And it's supposed to sit just like this, so each side has at least three. And then you have the one at the very bottom, at the top tier, that one holds it in place. So you can see right there, that one is held in place. Um, being that I don't have many eggs to incubate right now, I just took the top tier and put it aside. But the great thing about this is it does up, hold up to 120 eggs to incubate. It counts the days, it adjusts the egg tray, it's got a powerful heating system. And not only can you charge this by the plug, but it also has a dual power supply. So if you have a battery, you can connect this to a regular DC battery. It has two fan systems for ideal for incubation temperatures. There is manual and auto temperature modes. You can observe the eggs by the temperature. So again, like I said, there are four different modes for chicks, ducks, geese, and pigeons. But you can also set this. So with it saying that the chickens, chicken eggs you can do 105 to 120. Pigeon eggs is 130 to 150. Geese is 36 to 40. And then you have quail 180 to 210. And then ducks is 40 to 60 that will fit in here. And it does give you instructions on how to place the eggs. So you wanna do the tip part to tip part out of each one. So this is the wire right here. We just connect it from the bottom. And then you will have another one at the top. Just make sure you put it through the hole right here so it doesn't get stuck when it turns the eggs. And it does have a clip, so once you clip it in, it should lock into place. It's just a little snap thing, just like this. When you wanna remove it, you just push that little button at the bottom. So what I did was just tuck it right here on the side, just so it doesn't get stuck with the turning motors. And then you just put this piece up at the top of the motor where it has the fans. I did tape it so it will stay in place. I just didn't tape the part, which is the bottom part. That way when I wanna remove the top tier, I don't have to worry about the wire. I can just pop that off and then just stick it in here. So this is the wire that I actually taped to the top part. Although I wish it had a little LED lights on the inside, but I do have a strip on the front. So this is the little wire that you do get to add it to a water bottle. They have three little settings. You've got the first one here that is all the way to the right. You've got the middle and you've got the one all the one left. 
That one adds a little bit more water depending on once your humidity. I put it on the very far left because I usually keep my humidity between 55 and 60 for 18 days for the chickens. And after 18 days, we wanna raise the humidity from 65 to 70. So this just connects to the water port. So I have the styrofoam at the bottom just to make sure that it stays warm. And then you have your day time. And then right here is where you can candle them. So you can see the chicken or duck eggs, whatever you're gonna put in there. I've already candled it, so I stuck all my eggs in here. And you can see at the moment it is turning them. So it does it every 90 minutes. You wanna make sure that your incubator is constantly turning the eggs so they don't stick. So this is what it looks like. It is a super nice. I have my days. You've got chicken, duck, geese, and pigeon. It says the humidity level, the temperature, and how much time is left to turn. You've got your set. So right now, because I have it on chicken, it turns it every 120 minutes. Well, if you wanna automatically turn it, you just push the up button and it should automatically turn it up. You have the candle light right here. So everything is all set when you do in the automatic mode. You can also do the other mode, which is basically not in automatic. You can set it yourself. You can set the temperature, the turning time, the hatching days, and the humidity. But I am hatching some eggs of chickens, so I just put it on the chicken. Right now it is rainy outside, so you can see the little cloud right there at the top. When it's sunny, it'll actually show the sun and the first button. So you can set this modes and stuff by clicking on the mode. If you wanna go in different settings, it is also in the instructions manual. It's a little difficult to read, but make sure you read all the instructions first before you set it up, because it is kind of a pain, and you just wanna make sure that your wires are not touching your eggs, so I have to go back in there and push them down on the side. Again, this does not come with the screws, so if you purchase this, you wanna make sure you get some small little screws. I don't know what size they are, I just had some laying around but you definitely wanna make sure you have enough screws to screw in the top part. I think this is a really nice incubator and I highly recommend if you wanna incubate some eggs.